Hello guys, today we are going to make this beautiful, beautiful ne necklace. It, uh, it's a simple, uh, it's a very similar to the one I was uh, making in my previous tutorial when I was showing you how to read the patterns. Uh, and this is just uh, uh, like some modification of the, that same pattern. Uh, you can play with patterns. It's enough to change the order of the colors and the beads and you will have a totally different uh, necklace. So for this necklace, uh, I was using three colors uh, in this turquoise, uh, white and black. And I was using these uh, check beads. Uh, they are like this. They have this... Uh, uh, odd shape the, the hole is not going uh, through them let's see how it goes i'll try to hold it for you so that you can see it's not like this or uh, i don't know like this because it's an uneven shape it's not symmetrical okay so this is my bead but you can use uh, any type of the bead uh, you want and any size it will work just fine because this is not the vital uh, uh, place uh, uh, part of the necklace so whatever you put down here it's gonna be awesome so um, I'm working with uh, 80 irregular seed beads and for this necklace, uh, you're going to need uh, 10 grams of uh, white beads. These are the beads that I was, uh, wasn't was using uh, this much. So uh, you're going to need uh, 10 grams. This is what I have left of it. You're going to need uh, more than 10 grams of black beads. Uh, I was putting on my mat uh, 20 grams. Here and this is what I have left and you will need 30 grams of uh, turquoise or blue beads or whatever the color you need. This is the color that I was using the most and this is what I have left from my 30 grams. Uh, of course I was using button for my clasp and uh, yeah this is how it looks. It's really really uh, pretty. You're going to need around maybe three and a half hours in one day if you're planning to finish this necklace. Well, guys, so let's begin with our tutorial. Well, my Edo irregular seed beads are in action again. This time we will be using three colors. We have this uh, turquoise uh, blue, then white. Uh, black and uh, here are my check beads these are really nice uh, so the first thing we are going to do is to add my stopper bead I'm using uh, this thread that I was using last time this is just what I have left from the last last time from my last tutorial when I was making that uh, a necklace with hearts, when I was showing you how to read the patterns. So first thing I'm going to do is to add my stopper bead. Okay. So this time my thread will be shorter because this is what I have left. Of course, I will show you uh, this sequence and you'll have to proceed on your own okay further all right so this is my stopper bead stopper bead okay so first I'm gonna pick three turquoise beads one white bead then three turquoise again I'm gonna say just blue beads two 
blacks and two blue beads. Okay, I'm gonna push all this down. This is what I have taken. Now I'm gonna push all this down here and I will go through this. You see these three blue beads? I'm gonna go through this upper one. Okay, like this. All right. Now we need to pick one white bead and two blue beads. And we are going through this top blue bead. All right, this necklace has three rows. Uh, now we're going to pick one blue bead. We are going down two blue beads, uh, a white bead, two blue beads, and one white bead. And I will go through this center blue bead. All right, like this. I'm going to enlarge this so that you can see better what I'm doing. Be right back. I'm back. Okay, so where was I? All right, so I have added these four beads and I'm going to pick two blue and one white like this and from this place I'm gonna go through this lowest blue bead right here I went to trim my nails because when I enlarged this I was cleaning the stove and I saw that they were I couldn't wash them uh, properly <laughs> <laughs> so I think you will see first the you see I just cannot wash them. <laughs> so uh, from this, <laughs> we're gonna pick two blue beads, then uh, five black ones, three, four, five. Oops. Then uh, two blues, like this. Now I'm gonna push all this down. And I'm gonna go through this blue bead. It's hard to stay in focus because I have zoomed. All right. So from this place, we're going to pick one white bead and two blues. Like this. And we are going through this center bead. Please, yes. Then we're going to pick the same sequence again. One white and two blues. Like this. And we are going through this blue bead right here. Okay. 
I will uh, start picking a thinner bead for my upper part of the necklace because I want it to bend. So I'm gonna search for the thin beads, see like these beads. I'm gonna need four black ones and so the two skinny beads and two normal. Come on. Okay, I want this one. This one tries to escape. But you cannot see that on my camera because I have zoomed. And I'm going down through this center bead. Needle seed beads are the best beads for uh, the necklaces uh, three or four rows. I really like, you see, uh, uh, they kind of, uh, when, when, I, when you look, when you work small, with smaller beads, the necklace turns out to be this small and I don't like that. I like them uh, to be visible. And then uh, two blue beads and one white. And I'm going through this center bead. The pattern is uh, almost the same, like uh, from the from the this uh, necklace I was uh, making in the in my previous tutorial about how to read the patterns. This is just uh, playing with the colors. So from this uh, place here, I'm gonna pick the same sequence again: two blues and one white two blues and one white and I'm going down through this blue bead right here all right now uh, I have a wait my necklace here this is the same, uh, almost the same sequence, you see, three rows. And in this part, I'm not going to finish it like this. I'm going to extend it and add my bead. Okay, so I'm going to pick uh, two blue beads. Then I'm going to pick my check bead and three black beads. I'm going to take the skinniest one for the slowest part. Just like this. I'm going to put this down because I need to pull all this. So I have taken three black beads. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, here. And now I'm gonna go through this check bead again and through this blue one. This is what I have now. All right, now. I have to pick two blue beads and one white bead. And from this place, I'm going to go through this center bead right here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay, so from this place I'm going to pick two blue beads and one white, 
two blue beads and one white and I'm going through this bead right here. Then I'm picking two blue beads again and one black. Two blue beads and one black and I'm going through this black bead right here. So I have climbed all the way up and now it's time to go down and I need to take my two skinny black beads. Wait, so I can line them. Two black beads and we'll take two blue ones. And we'll go down through this center bead. It's the first blue right here. It's like this now. Now I'm gonna pick one white and two blues. One white and two blue beads. And I'm going through this center bead right here, the blue one. Okay. You see what, what we are going to make? This V shape. Uh, where was I? Uh huh. Okay. So I have to pick one white and one blue. One white and one, uh, one white and two blues, sorry. And now I will have to go through this center bead right here. I have to watch at the same time on my camera to see if I'm in focus. And watch what i'm doing all right this is what we have now now i'm gonna pick five black beads one two three three four five like this and i'm going up through this center bead right here I forgot to tell you that I have put every color uh, 10 grams of each. Now we will see which one we will spend first. I just want to know how much, how many beads are here. Okay. This is what we have now. Now we're going to pick two blues and one white. Two blues and one white. And from... No, I went through the wrong bead. This is not my center bead. This is the center bead. Okay. Thank God I noticed on time. Sorry. Yeah. Nice. So what was I saying? Two blues and one white. And I'm going through the center bead up here. Now we are picking two blues and one white again. Two blues and one white again. And I'm going through this top blue bead right here okay this is what we have right now okay now we need to go down and i'm gonna pick one blue one white and two blues one blue one white and two blue beads and 
and I'm going down through this center bead right here. All right, now we're picking one white and two blue beads. One white and two. Two blue beads. And we're going down through this center bead right here. Okay, now we need to pick two black beads and two blue beads, two black and two blue beads and we are going up through this center blue bead, it's to this one. Okay, now we're picking one white and two blue beads. One white and two blue beads. And we are going up through this blue bead below my white. Okay, so this is our sequence. Now I'm gonna go down by picking uh, one white, two blues, and one white. One white, two blues, and one white. And we are going down through this center blue bead right here okay now we're picking uh, two blue beads and one white and one white and we are going through this lowest black bead a uh, blue bead my neighbor is uh, a gamer and uh, he's yelling so much i guess he's losing and uh, that kind of makes me uh, not so conscious con <laughs> concentrated <laughs> because he's screaming down there swearing and cursing and all that stuff so i'm gonna pick two blue beads five black ones and two blue beads two blue beads five black ones four five and two blue beads i put this down because i need to pull all this down Like this and from this place I need to go through this blue bead right here this is what this is where we are now all right this is this part you see this part is this part and this is where we started going down and we have just made this again all right so from this place we need to pick one white bead and two blue beads one white bead and two blue beads and 
and we need to go up through this center bead right here. All right, so and then we need to pick one white bead and two beads again. One white bead and two blue beads. And we need to go up through this blue bead right here. Okay, see, this is where we are now, and now we need to pick four black beads, where are my skinny beads, okay, two, three, four, and I'm going through this center bead. right here okay now from this place we need to pick two blue beads and one white two blue beads and one white and we need to go through this center bead Okay, now we need to pick two blue beads and one white bead again. Two blue beads and one white bead, and we are going down here through this last blue bead. And now it's time to add our check bead. So we are picking two blue beads, one check bead, okay, mm -hmm. Oops. and I need to pick three black beads. One, two, three black beads, push them down, then go through the check bead and through the first blue bead, right here. Then we need to pick two blue beads and one white two blue beads and one white and we are going through this center bead right here now we need two blue beads and one white two blue beads and one white and we are going through this center bead right here. Okay, now we need two blue beads and one black. Two blue beads and one black. And we are going through this bead right here this pattern is so easy 
Now we need to pick two black beads and two blue ones. Two black beads and two blue ones. And I'm going through this center bead of our three. Going down. And then from this place, we are picking one white and two blue beads. White and two blue beads. And we are going through this center bead down there. So then we are picking one white and two blue beads again. One white and two blue beads again. And we are going through this center bead. Okay, this is where we are now. We need to pick five blue, uh, black beads. One, two, three, four, five black beads. And we'll need to go up and exit through this center bead all right then we need to pick sorry then we need to pick two blue beads and one white two blue beads and one white and we are going up through this black bead again. Oh, blue bead. White bead. All right. So this is where we are. Then we are picking two blue beads and one white. Two blue beads and one white. And we are going up through this blue bead. Said two blue beads, not three. Oh, I have to say this. I was thinking all the time. Okay. All right. Let's see where we are. Now we are going down with one blue, one white, and two blue beads. One blue. One white and two blue beads. And I'm going through this center bead right here. Okay. Then we are picking one white and two blue beads. Two white, two blue beads. And we are going through this center bead. All right. This is the, where we are now. So we need to pick two black beads and two blue beads. Two black beads and two blue beads. And we need to go up here through this center bead. All right, now we need one white and two blue beads, one white and two blue beads, and we are exiting through this blue bead below my white one. So this is where we are now. Okay, this is where we are now. You will have to continue on your own. Just look at this uh, passages we were making and just keep track on it and repeat them okay I will show you how this progress goes further if you're not sure you can just rewind the video and start and follow me follow my passages 
So far I have made five sequences and uh, now it's time to uh, replace my thread and uh, I have exited right here so this is the place where I would uh, normally start my uh, another row by going down but I will go backwards two beads back and through this diagonal line here all right so no matter where you uh, have to change your thread it can be here or here or here the thing is the same just go when you climb up instead of starting new row you have to go two beads back then you need to go down four beads at least i mean you can uh, make your knot even here but I like it a little bit more down okay it's like this and now I'm gonna make my knot okay like this and I'm going down four beads again right here and I'm gonna add my second knot and we'll go down exit through this joint and this is the place where I will cut my thread like this Okay, so my this this side is free, and uh, I will add my button for the clasp on this part. I need to pick one first. So uh, I have threaded my needle, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to I need to untie this bead right here and make it loose like this now I'm gonna pick four beads I already had one I have one and I need three more I'm gonna pull them down then I'm gonna pick uh, one blue bead I'm gonna take uh, Three black beads again, like this. And I'm gonna take my button. This is the only one that I had in the matching color. My only light blue bead. How sad is that? And uh, this one, uh, uh, one girl at the school gave me this button because she knew that I collect them. Okay, like this, and I'm gonna pick one blue, one black, uh, one black, one blue, and one black bead, and we'll go like this. Then I'm gonna pick three black beads. We'll go through this, these three beads right here. And through all these beads at the top of my button. I'm gonna go through all of them and down through these three beads right here and through all these beads and until I get here to my necklace all right okay this is good now I'm gonna go like this in this diagonal path and we'll tie my knots 
just like I did before. Here, I'm going to tie my knots. Right here, I'm going to go burn it down. I did here next to my joint. So I will make another knot and we'll go down, exit through this joint. Right here, that's enough. I'm taking my needle and cutting my thread. Nice. All right. Okay. Now I need to uh, thread my needle and we will start from here and we'll show you how to enter with the uh, with the new thread so i have threaded my needle with a gigantic new thread and let's see now so this is where i have climbed up and this is the bead uh, from where i would normally start my row down Okay, so I need to add my uh, new thread, and this is the diagonal line from this bead. So I will enter right here from this lower part through this first joint. It's right here. And I'm going four beads up. I'm always entering through the joints. I'm kind of used to do that. And yeah. Okay. And now I need to make my knot right here. Oh, no, not you, but you. Okay. Now I'm going two times through this loop. to replace this loop right here under my joint okay so I'm here and I will go four beads up to exit next to my second joint even though I don't need the second knot at all this is already enough But in case you want to make another knot, you see, this is already enough. Look. But I'm gonna do this anyway. You know, just in case. Okay. That two times through the loop. Here we go, and 
we are going up and oh, come on exiting through this lead to start our new row down okay and I will cut my thread right here all right so let's proceed okay so I'm done and now it's time to finish this baby so I'm gonna just make a loop for my button here and I'm gonna pick uh, four black beads I want to find the longest one one two three four and one blue bead I'm gonna push everything down nicely and bead for my loop I don't know how many do I need but we will see I'm just picking random beads over here okay hmm. let's see will this be enough Let's try it. Nope. At least two more. Let's try now. Okay. I have finished this necklace in one day. Yeah. This one, this will be enough, I think. Let me try again. I think that, yeah, 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 yeah. This is enough. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna go through all these beads once more. Okay. like this all right now I'm gonna go through all these beads here and we'll go down this way to this diagonal line Okay, 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 okay. So right here. And my loop here two times. All right, I'm going four beads down. Oops. And make my second knot. One, two, Ooh, no, one, two. Okay. And I am going down right here. All right, now I can cut my thread. Oops. Okay, so this is it. All right, now I'm gonna make all this wider so that you can see how it looks. 
Okay, I guess I have to hold my camera like this. So, uh, this is how it looks and it's really, really pretty, as you can see. It's really nice. And my lighting is so bad. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope that you like this tutorial and that you are uh, happy with the finished product. And hope to see you next time. Ciao!